Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolays the Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match cast or stream rather today. We're gonna start out with a game between North Chile and G and Dorsch. This is actually gonna be a lot of games involving Dorsch. Every game tonight is gonna involve Dorsch. Because Tuesday nights, as I've mentioned before, are nights that I typically focus more on players who aren't at the top level weren't the highest level players because it's always good to look at the players who are more the middling levels because sometimes they have interesting things they're doing or you just see the up-and-comers before they up and come so we'll see how that pans out I mean ultimately in the future but for now like I said slightly lower level replays but that's like I said all good so let us begin this is on island test a map which I have actually not shown before and actually haven't played. It doesn't look like it's a very popular map, and the impression I get is that it may not be a very good map, but I'm curious anyway, so... Hey, Tuesday night's a bit more experimental. Like I said, Tuesday nights are nights for games that are not entirely necessarily always the best, I guess, games? Anyway. So yeah, that's... That's how I'm treating it. Yeah, I think I might have actually cast this game exactly once, come to think of it, in a tournament years ago. This does look familiar. Like something I've dreamed. Which sounds like it would have been in a tournament, because some of those tournaments, I've been up so early, or for so long, that I've completely lost all lucidity. Not right now, though. Right now, I'm okay. A little ill, but okay. But yeah, this was a tournament where I think... I think this is the tournament where I accidentally started talking about the English Civil War just randomly because my brain shut off. Completely, like, I just completely forgot where I was, who I was, what I was doing for about five seconds. So yeah, I'm probably, I think that was this tournament, I think it was that tournament. I think I've played this, seen this map before. Anyway, my own weird hallucinations and delusions aside, this map is, which is entirely fatigue based, by the way. That's it. This map has, been, has been, been shown just now. Favors Amphib, or at least is pretty Amphib focused. Well, I feel bad for that conch. Anyway, it is a fairly Amphib focused map. Because, well, water in the center does that to you. Yeah, water in the center, a bunch of stuff around the side for resources, so it's easy enough to get resources. But once again, Amphib works fairly well. And the map is relatively large. 14 by 14. Not the largest map that's typically played in 1v1. But still fairly large, given that it's a lot of water in between. Like a huge amount of water in between the player start locations. Now, of course, there is the outside edge, but why would you take that if you could take the water? And thus, Amphib. Or, I suppose, Hover, but I don't think Hover would actually path through this. I'd have to check. Like, this doesn't, this doesn't seem that steep. I'm pretty sure Hover's crafts would actually be able to go up and down these hills. Mind you, Amphib is just popular. I mean, if you're going to have water, you're going to go Amphib. That's just what you're going to do. That's always what you're going to do. Like, it doesn't matter what's... Oh. Like, it doesn't matter, even matter sometimes if there is water. Amphib is that popular. And North Chilean G getting a pretty decent start off here. I mean, Dorsh tried to harass earlier, and that didn't go so well. And now North Chilean G, with their own harassment, doing a pretty decent job. My goodness, why must this thing lock up all the time? But yeah, that's... Yeah, like I said, Amphib works well on this map, and North Chilean G starting out fairly strong. Though Dorsh has a much stronger economy, they do not have the production working with that, though. Why is their production not working with that? They... Yeah, they have nothing pushing their factory right now, so they are risking excessing metal. North Chilean G, on the other hand, could use a bit more energy, and... One thing I'm surprised neither player is doing... Actually, no, never mind. Dorsh has built tidal generators. What I'm surprised by is that North Chilean G has not built tidal generators in the outside area. Because Dorsh is not going to go to there. Like, they're not going to go behind this. Probably not. They might, but I seriously doubt it just because, I mean, North Chilean G is expanding so much in the center. Sorry, Dorsh is expanding so much in the center. North Chilean G could probably get away with just building wind farms or tidal farms out in the back in this corner. No big deal. I doubt it would be attacked at all. Like, North Chilean G would lose their base before they lost that wind farm. However, they need power. Like, one way or another, they need to build more energy. Dorsh is doing okay for energy. A little bit vulnerable, but tidal generators are very cost-effective on this map. On, I mean, tidal generators are cost-effective in general. 
wind generators are the risky ones, but tidal generators, no problem. Actually, on this map, oops. Okay, wind generators are not particularly useful on this map if they're not in the water. If they are in the water, they're great. If they're not in the water, now it looks like 0.2 to 2.5, which is risky. Not something I'd rely on. Useful, but not reliable. Anyway, North Chilean G really taking the northeast side, though. Very aggressively expanding over there. Entirely naked from the looks of it, too. Dorsch, however, over to the south. Sorry, center. Still in the center, not over to the south. North Chilean G is exploring the south. Dorsch, Dorsch taking that center and just running with it. Not even worrying too much about any of the sides, which is a bit surprising because the center isn't that lucrative. And going for the wind gens, interestingly enough. So Dorsh's energy right now is doing okay, but it looks like wind is slowing down a bit. Still, plus one is worth it for the moment. North Chilean G switching to, or adding air rather. Putting air into there, still going for power for solar plants. I really don't understand why North Chilean G is not going for tidal plants. When, like I said, there's a lot of relatively safe area for tidal plants. Heck, they could have it in the front door too, but I would take it. I, I would put it in the back. Still. Doesn't really matter. They are getting harassed. North Chilean G... <laughs> there we go. Took three tries. The ducks finally hit their target. But yeah, this naked expansion starting to bite doors. But then, sorry, starting to bite the North Chilean G, but no, North Chilean G doesn't really care. They're... They're pretty solid here. And I just noticed this would not work for hovercrafts, so that explains Amphib far better. The center works okay for hovercrafts, the sides do not. At all. And Dorsch going for gunships. Just starting out a gunship plant right now. While North Chilean G finishing off that air plant. Basically wait, waiting essentially on the solar collectors. Finally getting the priority up from the looks of it. Or no. No, they're not. Huh. That's strange. Apparently they just got enough resources to make that worth it, but their priority is not showing up. So I'm going to assume they're on... they're still in mid-priority. No matter. The power plant's getting up North Chilean G. Finally gonna get the air up, but Dorsch having a much easier time getting the gunship plant out just because they have the energy, they have the resources, they can more easily set that up. Except... Still taking a little while. I think that well, yeah, the planes will be done first from the looks of it. Because now that North Chilean G has the energy to make it work, yeah, they are in fact going to assist build that. Although it really doesn't matter all that much, and it looks like yeah, that's going to be up first. And Dorsch getting stopped, or are they going to get stopped? They're getting spotted. Ah, uh, yeah, they're getting stopped. There we go. The ducks finally stopped their rampage after killing about two or three metal extractors. Not a bad haul, really. I mean, not bad, but then at the same time, Dorsh is way behind economically. North Chilean G did not care because they were expanding to the south. What did they care about the north? They got the south. Getting these three metal extractors back is no problem. Or four, rather. That's pretty trivial. See, <clears throat> so yeah, getting the bag is no problem. Getting... Dorsch, Dorsch needs to have a stronger economy. That's the problem. Dorsch's economy is really not holding up at the moment. And now with the planes done, Raven's starting. Interesting choice. You don't see Ravens too often nowadays, while Banshee's coming up for Dorsch. Going for more harassment. I mean, the north side's still naked. The North Chilean G could still lose that. But at the same time, their army's... Like north Chilean G's army's so much bigger. Raven coming up. Just about to get finished, too. So that first one, I guess for mechs bombing. I don't see it being used for anything until more ravens come up. And yeah, that's what's happening. Ravens continuing up. North Chilean G wants to get that grizzly up. I think they're just going to push out. I mean, they had the ravens for additional support, but I don't think that'll be relevant until a bit later. I mean, the ravens coming up now, that'll be... What the heck? What, last minute cancel? Oh, I see, they saw the Banshees and they decided to last minute cancel it. Why they did that is beyond me, though. I mean, they just about finished that Raven. Bit of a waste, oh well. Still, like, so they're kind of ahead, but Dorsch now pulling ahead for metal, or just about pulling ahead for metal. And the Banshee harassment is doing a number on stuff. I mean, North Chilean G's 
metal is not doing too well. And now the Grizzly Assault is starting. Are there ducks and scallops along the way? And now well, they're just regrouping. And it's been revealed too. I mean, Dorsh lost their Air Force for the moment. Do they have any more? No, they do not. They are focusing entirely on their ground force. Which is kind of scary. All things considered, that's actually pretty scary. North Chilean G just lost a huge chunk of their economy. They do have the Grizzly, but that's a very high weight unit. It's going to take a lot for them to actually get past this. I mean, they're going to have to basically wipe out most of Dorsh's forces with the Grizzly. Almost alone. Because given that the focus has been split between air and ground, a lot of Swifts up too. These Swifts, why are they not being used? They really should be used pretty soon. But yeah, those Swifts getting up, that will be a lot of damage dealt if any more Air Force comes in. But that's not happening. Dorsh is not building another Air Force. So, this is down to the Grizzly. The Grizzly basically has to do this on its own. And it might just be able to. Although Dorsh does have a well, decent army of conches. How many scalps does it have? Well, hmm. Yeah, 13 ducks, 6 scallops. That's, that's still pretty sizable. And a bit of scouting has been done. I mean, Dorsh knows now they can't really focus on air. I mean, they know that the Swiss exist. They'd have to really contest air if they wanted to contest air. But at the same time, North Chilean G not building too much on the ground. So this is not quite... It, it's, I mean, North Chilean G, I'd say, has the advantage. Just from the economy, they have the advantage. Dorsh coming in for a bit of harassment. Getting into the center... Oh, getting in the main base is actually not a... Well, it's a bit of a problem, but not as big of a problem as I thought it would be. Though the Swifts are, of course, still pretty powerful, so there, th there's that, I suppose. And Dorsh, have they, have they realized the South has been taken, too? If they realize that, North Chilean G may be in trouble. But even then, I don't know. The problem for North Chilean G right now is that they are... They're getting hit and they have nothing to hit back with other than this giant... Like, the... Grizzly force. Like the force of the Grizzlies and the Scallops and everything? Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll hit back nicely. But that's about it. Not sure what else would actually do the trick right now. And North Chilia G apparently a little bit paranoid about possible Banshee counterattacks, and they... Might be right to be cranes coming up. Not can't banshee counterattack, but it'll definitely stop the harassment when that comes in. How many swifts does North Trilogy have? 20 swifts! Wow! There's not much in the way of anti-air either from Dorsh. That could actually be a pretty strong harassment force on its own. I'm a little surprised Dorsh hasn't started putting into that use. And at this point, North Trilogy G's main army finally getting on, finally getting into Dorsh's base. Just about on land. Once it gets to shore, well, once the Grizzly gets to shore at least, then we'll probably see the game possibly end? I don't know. That Grizzly oh, that Grizzly's got to get on land. What are you doing, North Chilean G? That Grizzly's got to get on land. Can't do anything underwater. I think the Grizzly might end up dying. Although, that being said, the Swifts are doing a great job harassing. What the... Oh, hang on. That is what I think it is. Yeah, ultimatum being used a little bit excessively, but at the same time, the Grizzly didn't do any damage. But it doesn't matter. Those Swifts, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that Dorsh didn't invest in anti-air in all that time. Like, no Tridents, no Anglers. Anglers would have been really devastating. I mean, there would have been no way to hit that. The Swifts can't hit it. The Ravens could, but the Swifts can't. Finally getting a Razor up, but even then. Lost the Strider Hub. Lost everything else. The Swift's pulling back, but it doesn't matter. The main center, well, the center area has just been taken over. There's really nothing there to stop them. Stop North Chilean G's forces, I mean. I mean, that defender doing a valiant job. Oh, actually doing a pretty good job. But even then, a second pass will come in, and that will 
basically seal it. The only downside for North Chilean G being that Dorsch got a huge amount of recoil. How much recoil do they have right now? Wow, that's actually after absorbing quite a lot. So there's a lot of reclaim going on here. This may be quite a bit better than North Chilean G realizes. But at the same time, North Chilean G's static economy is huge. I mean, they're easily replenishing the forces they lost and putting into a much less high weight army. Which, given the presence of an ultimatum, or at least the previous presence of an ultimatum, and also the fact that there's... Where is that ultimatum anyway? Is that ultimatum still alive? I don't see it at all. This is slightly bothersome. But yeah, given the presence of the ultimatum... You know what? I, I, I feel kind of silly. I should have been doing this the whole time. Or, I mean... What? What are two? Yeah. I feel kind of silly for not having done that. It's much easier to see underwater when I'm using dynamic water. Bump water is only really useful when you're not going to have underwater units, but I digress. Dorsa's commander basically dead. North Chilean G right now has... They've got the economy to really pull this off. I mean, Dorsh does have a relatively strong reclaim, but... That seems to have gone away. Gone into that grizzly. Dorsa's commander about to go down. Looks like for free. Actually going to take out the wind farm in the process. Oh, would that stop happening? Seriously, that's annoying. Okay, never mind. Dorse throws in the towel after losing their commander, and that is game. All right, well, that's that was that. That was kind of interesting. I kind of see why people don't take too well to this map, just because it is a little bit of a, well, water-heavy map, which isn't often favored. But even then, I don't think it's that terrible. Not the best map in the world, but certainly not terrible. Anyway... Next game is going to be on a much more popular map, Wanderlust, which I actually haven't shown in a little while, but it is a much more popular map. People do play on it. It's a thing. It exists. So that'll be up in just a moment.